All right, hey everyone, this is Ash. Welcome back to The King's Speech. Uh, so yeah, I've got a lot of content to cover uh, this weekend. We're getting back into the read-throughs, as well as the uh, normal Shonen Jump uh, reaction review stuff. Uh, so I've got a couple of chapters of Akane Banashi, as well as Kaiju number 8 to cover this week. Uh, looks like Spy Family is still on break for at least another two weeks. Uh, and I don't know when Goku Rock Guy is coming back, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, but apart from that, a lot of good content is going to be coming your way this weekend. Uh, so if you haven't already, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, like I've mentioned before, this, this tends to be the hardest times of the year for me. Uh, so your support would really mean a lot for to me. Uh, so if you'd like to comment on the videos, like, do all that stuff, that would really be greatly appreciated. Uh, but without further ado, uh, let us dive into it with Akane Banashi Story 97, Heartwarming. Uh, with story with the Rakugo supervision by Yuki by uh, sorry story by Yuki Sunaga, uh, Rocky su Rakugo supervision by Keiki Haishia, and art by Takamasa Moe. Uh, with translation by Stephen Paul and lettering by uh, Sneer Aron. Uh So we see uh, with the Connie about to head out of the stage. Chocho telling her, "You gotta crush it." He wanted out of this, so there's clearly something pulling him the other way. And he's talking about, oh, you have to forgive me. I keep forgetting the names. Uh, Tizen. Uh, he's like, yeah, Tizen wanted out of this, so there's clearly something pulling him the other way. And there's a kind of like tying her hair up into her ponytail. She's like, don't worry. This was a reckless endeavor from the start. And you see that the, the transition from like Zenza to Futatsume usually takes three to five years. And she's like, he advanced to Futatsume in his second year. She's thinking of uh, Kaisei. And she's like, I know what I'm getting into. <laughs> and you see our reporter bro, whose name is Kimihisa. Uh, and then a reporter girl who's what, Say, Going, I haven't seen a Akane since the selection round. He's like, that's right. It's like, well, well. It's like the National Treasure, the Arakawa Arch 4, an Okanban. All of the major players in the industry in front of a packed house. So, what kind of performance will it be? <laughs> and you see Yukane's father and mother like sitting in the crowd just casually chatting. As Yukane just like heads out like all looking all excited and happy. As you have tum 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 tum. And you have ahem. My name is Akane Arakawa. Thank you all for attending Asagao Konjukute's debut event as a Futatsume. It's like, oh what a day. What a wonderful, wonderful day. It was last spring that I first met Asagao Anisan. I just graduated high school and I was working backstage for the first time. I want her to introduce myself to Asuka Anisan, who was the Tate Zenza in charge of the others. He's like, I'm Akane Arakawa, it's nice to meet you. And then he said, <laughs> and she's admitting like his little pompadour hairstyle, was like, I make the rules here. Stay in line and know your place. He's like, that's the first thing you say to me? I was completely taken aback. But you know, I was born and raised in Tokyo. I'm a true Edoko. I don't let people push me around without giving some back. He's like, I'll get you, Pompadour, just you watch. He's like, so that's how my backstage stint began. And, uh, God, I will never remember a Porter Bro's name. Kashio is just like, yeah, that takes me back. I first saw her at the Karaku Cup two years ago. She was still in school at the time. It's been a year and a half since then. It's kind of heartwarming, I guess. He's like, I was terrible at it. And I relied on Asuka Anisan to teach me everything. He's like, heartwarming? Who? Certainly not Akane Arakawa. He's like, and now that we're here to celebrate Asuka Anisan, the man, no, Asuka Anisan, the man to whom I owe so much transforming to a Futatsume, I'd like to tell you a story about a transforming Tanaki. And you see at the backstage entrance, this Chocho just like casually tossing his dice up and down. And he goes, Gaha! So she's giving you an introduction and she's ready to go now. Right, Tizen? He's like, I'm sure you have your reasons, but this is a real battle of wills. You just gotta roll with it. And you have the story, Tanuki Dice. You have, so what are you saying? That you came back to repay me for saving your life? I guess Tanuki really feel a sense of obligation, huh? It's like, but normally Tanuki are so hard to catch. How'd you get caught by a bunch of kids? He's like, oh, well, you see... The kids were playing a game of Menko, trying to flip over each other's cards. <laughs> I was watching from the shadows, thinking how fun it looked. And one of them said, I gotta go now, and left. So I thought, perfect, I'll transform into that one and go play the game. 
Then I left out of hiding. I said, never mind, I'm back in. But I forgot to transform first. <laughs> As you see, the Tanuki just jumping out of the bushes. It's like, no wonder you got caught, you thoughtless goof. And you see uh, the karaoke bar you have. You know what I was thinking the last time I saw you perform? Akane, you act too cool when you do Rakugo. She's like, what? And you have a... Uh, not Greg, what the hell is a Jumbo going? I know exactly what you mean. It's like, yeah. She's like, yeah, I'm all that. I don't even know how to do anything wrong. That's why I was just laughing. And she's like, is this really necessary? He's like, hey, chill. It's like, why don't you try, try being more natural? It's like, you're impatient, quick to fight, terrified of scary stuff, prone to motion sickness, and not ashamed to act cute to get what you want. And it's like, though you always make it up to us, like, here, thanks for the notes, just like handing a little, like, drink. It's like, the thing about you, Akane, is that you're not cool. <laughs> it's like, it's why we're friends with you. And you see, as his performance, Jojo goes, once you reach for Tatsume, it's all about making people want to listen to you. It's about taking the foundation of your art and seeing how much nin you can stack on top. Being able to sound the part is only the beginning. And uh, it's like, this is where it really starts, little lady. Oh, all right. Uh, so just quick thoughts on the chapter. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this was solid, solid chapter all around. I like Akane kind of just like hop skipping onto the stage, like all excited and uh, light like. Because again, this is kind of like one of the limitations of like, again, like a visual kind of art form like Rakugo. Uh, being translated into like a different visual medium because you have like the thump thump like dun 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 songs that's playing in the background when Akane is coming on and you see the audience members looking all like shocked like a little surprised at what's playing so I have to assume it's kind of like some awkward or like childish song that they wouldn't really expect to be playing at like a rock wheel performance so on the one hand it's like alright it's great that like you know the author and the artist and they're like are kind of expecting you to kind of fill in the gaps and kind of like assume what's happening and everything like that. But it does lose a little bit of the impact when you're trying to figure out like what exactly is going on, what exactly kind of reaction you're supposed to have with uh, things like that. Uh, so yeah, like again, it's a small, small uh, nitpicks with the chapter, but it is kind of showcasing what the limitations of a series like this are. Uh, apart from that, I did love how easily I kind of got it across like Akane's charm and her personability and everything with her performance and like with all the faces she's doing with the little motions of like imitating uh, Asagao's like little pompadour haircut and everything. Uh, so I think that was a really solid way to kind of get across like how much of a performer she is, like how good of a performer uh, she is. Uh, apart from that, I'm not really sure I still get like the whole thing like, oh, you know, just be yourself, like, you know, be you know, awkward, like, be awkward, like, three-dimensional, don't try to put on, like, a front of, like, coolness and everything. I'm not really sure where that's heading to, but uh, I'm curious to see where it's going to end up. Uh, so, solid chapter, really enjoyed it. Uh, looking forward to getting to the next one. Uh, so, like I mentioned at the beginning, there's going to be a couple of read-throughs as well as showing Jump chapters coming out today. Uh, so, there's a lot of content to look forward to. So, like I mentioned, if you haven't already, uh, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, there is also a national strike for Palestine this week. Uh, please do check out my Twitter for the details, but please do continue speaking up and talking about what's happening there right now. And until next time, this is Ash. I'll talk to you all later.